All right, hey everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Quest Hunter. It's a it it almost looks kind of Diablo-y, but I'm not entirely sure if that's really how it counts. I don't know. It's a it's an isometric ARPG with kind of humorous dialogue and I loot treadmills. I don't know. Uh, let's get started. We're gonna be this, and I'm just gonna go with the stoplight glasses, golden beard. And that outfit. There's more than this, but I lost my first couple of minutes of this last recording, so we're just gonna skip ahead to the, uh, to the this bit. Anyway, uh, this is an airship. I like airships. There need to be more games with airships. However, that's not me. That's an imposter. That's, that's an imposter flying my airship. Look at him. He doesn't have a beard. He's got orange hair. He's dressed wrong. He whistles badly. I mean, I whistle worse than that, but... <laughs> now, not gonna lie, on sudden onset of fog, when I'm driving, I don't just let go of the wheel and just kind of let things go. Also, that's still not me. Not me, learn to drive! Like, okay, I know it's, I know it's kind of dark and spooky, but like, that doesn't exactly preclude you from, from steering. That's still not me! Also, it looks like not me pooped himself. Well, it's a good thing I'm not him. So, chapter one, shipwreck. I think this game has five chapters total. I don't actually know how long that is. Whoops. I didn't mean to skip the dialogue, it didn't even matter. It was just like, look for the perpetrators or lie around for a while feeling sorry for yourself. Both answers lead to you getting up. So I'm gonna run around just destroying nature because it has offended me. I mean, we crashed into it. I I, I would say nature is, is the main perpetrator. So I'm going to take my revenge one tree at a time. We'll find out that actually gathering all this wood was good for me. At which point, uh, I'm gonna feel very vindicated. These enemies straight up do look... Uh, like, directly from, uh... Oh, shoot, what is it? Chex Quest. I... That game's on my brain because it's, uh... It's actually coming out as, like, a... No, I'm not gonna say, like, an HD 3, 3D game. But they're actually doing, like, a, a 3D release. A proper 3D release of, of... Of Chex Quest soon. Which, like, it makes no sense, and I have no idea why they're doing it. Okay. I wanted to check. I, I have a dig button, and there's supposed to be a chest there, but I guess I have to talk to the to the wizard first. Light the torch fast! Fire will scare away the monsters! Only have a sho- I only have a shovel. Yeah, a shovel is no good for lighting torches. Ahem. I buried the chest in that forest. Try to dig it up, or you might find something useful there. Uh, did I break it? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay. I guess I just had to, to keep digging for a little bit longer. We get a diamond, some gold, a torch. Let's see. So it wants me to use the map. Map is this. Okay, there we go. Fine! Now you have something to light a fire with. Him. You get EXP. Yeah. Light the torch. How? Inventory. Nope, that's me. Oh. No. In okay, flame flames torches at the location and saves the game. Repels monsters. Okay. Oh, so I bet I have to go find a. I have to go find something to actually set on fire. Yep, there we go. So this torch. So the torch in my inventory is not the correct torch. I'm gonna call these things schnognorves. I don't actually know if that's the right right term. In fact, it's. Pretty much wrong, but that's okay. Oh, I leveled up. 
Okay, so I have quick round kick. All who stand around the hero take 20, uh, damage 20. I'm... Okay, so that's how I do it. Looks like it's on a pretty basic cooldown. Just jam apples in my face. Why does it want me to go back? Gotta remember. Okay, well, let's just go back anyway. Maybe I have to interact with it. Oh, no, we have to go back to the, the wizard. Fire is our savior! Ahem. What a fall! Never seen an airship looping the loop. My head is, is buzzing. Where am I? Oh, that's a remarkable crash, but you fell down, a, un, down in an unremarkable place, straight onto my hut. I'll help restore it. Thank you, good soul. But you need some healing first. You look unwell. Ahem. It would be nice. Go eat that berry. It'll restore your health. Ahem. Eat a healing berry. I've been jamming food in my face this entire time. Also, that was not here before. Music's not half bad. There, now, your complexion looks much healthier. Ahem. What happened to the sun? It looks like the work of black magic. Troubled times are coming ahem. We've got to find the offenders. I lost my airship and all my stuff. Oh, a brave heart. I love it. I will help you. Let me mark a good place for the camp on the map. Ahem. Well, I've leveled up again. So, I don't think I can do anything with it. No, oh, but I've got some stat points. So the more health, the better. Damage caused to the enemy, armor reduces damage, shield blocks damage. I'm going to be kind of uh, one track here. We're going maximum shovelry, nothing more. I mean, I'll probably mess around with some other, some other features, but still. Okay, so I need a torch for that, but you know what? I don't care. Wait, does leveling up my attack power increase my ability to uh, destroy trees? I think so. I think it took three hits to kill a tree previously. Uh, I have to shift. It's, uh, well, <laughs> the sun is directly on my office. It's bright in here. I gotta get, I gotta get me some shades. Cause I was like, hey, sweet. I actually get some really nice natural lighting nowadays. Okay, so I can push a block. Oh, I see. What? Okay, there we go. It wasn't taking the animation previously. Uh, I should probably push it the other way. There we go. It wasn't taking the animation earlier. Maybe a collision issue? I'm not entirely sure. The character could only push in uh, short bits, which actually works a honestly kind of fine, but it looks stupid. But like, it's life. Yeah, let's leave that healing flower. We got more, more, more sloggles sh to murder. I should probably actually use that spinning attack, honestly. My booze! My booze is all gone! What could have happened to it? I don't know. It's on the ground. Maybe it's what's creating these creatures. Pots. Okay, so we can... Equip the, uh, oh, oh, gear does, does reflect on our character. I realize that the, uh, the pot probably is not the, uh, the best piece of equipment. Oh, there's just a random person. Uh, I didn't do it. I had nothing, nothing to do with that. Didn't, you didn't see anything. I didn't loot the silver key off of him. Speaking of, we got the silver key. Let's go back. Uh, let's see. There's there's no sprint, is there? No. Because we've got the we've got the dig dig ability. We got some other stuff, but there's no there's no like move faster button. Oh. Oh, cool. So I've got some uh, quick menus on the controller. Not that they matter too much, but I don't know. Back we go. Yeah, the music is actually pretty decent for this game. It's... 
It's bombastic, would be the word. Oh no, the wizard has disappeared. Okay, so let, let, let's go see what's up in here. Secret found. Why did that thing have a conch shell? Of all things. Oh! We got a frying pan, healing potions, some other related things, and another torch. Okay, so what's the frying pan? Oh, instead of the shovel, I've got a frying pan now. I was almost expecting that we'd end up with a uh, frying pan on it, our head as well. Oh, I want to play a game like that someday. I want to play a game like that someday where every piece of armor you pick up, your character just puts on. And so by the end of it, oh, it would almost be like a some kind of Katamari stand-in-ish. Uh, where it starts off as like a relatively basic, er, basic, uh, what is the, what am I even saying? I don't know. Uh, a, re a relatively basic, I guess I was trying to combine relatively and basic together. Uh, you know, action RPG, not too many useful features. Uh, you know, gameplay is pretty light, maybe like this. Uh, but every time you put on a piece of equipment, the game changes a little bit, so... You know, eventually you start, like, you get a shield slam, then you get a body slam. Then your attack goes away because you can't equip your weapon anymore. But that's fine because after a certain point you're just rolling out into everybody. Secrets found one. Out of five? There's probably was only one. I might be able to go back, too. But yeah, so by the end of it, it's effectively, you're just Katamari Damasi-ing things. Uh... Oh, no, no, don't go back to the camp. I guess I have to press, keep mashing A to actually enter it. Guess it makes sense. Hello! Good man, don't pass by, help a man in need. Who are you? I am a famous torch trader. I also make wonderful moonshine. What happened? This darkness made monsters even fiercer. They seem seem to be coming from everywhere. They interfere with my trade. All my customers have fled. Uh, I I can't get the voice for this guy. Whatever, it's not that big of a deal. Help help to destroy them and I'll reward you. Okay. Wait there. Or wait here. Kill three nosies. Oh. That's way less cool than Slognorfs. Slognorfs? Shoot, I can't even keep my, like, naming conventions consistent. I haven't taken too much damage. Uh, was that it? I killed them all. Give me my reward. Oh, th oh, thank you. You've earned a torch. Thank you. Take care. Pay me a visit in case you need torches or something. Nope, I'm just giving him my old, vo old man voice. You know what? Whatever. I haven't done a whole lot of voice acting lately. Uh, so my my skills are a bit rough. Either that or I'm stuffy. Both are entirely probably possibly true. Music music for this game is pretty great. Oh, camp. No, I don't want to enter the dungeon. I want to talk to this man. What the hell do you want? Why are you so rude? Uh, yeah. Forgive my manners. I'm a nervous wreck. My brother went into the dungeon looking for mushrooms, but forgot to take a ball of yarn with him. He has not come out for two days. I am worried. And why don't you go and search for him? I'm afraid to get lost. It's dark and dangerous in there. I can try and find him. Really? I would be very grateful. Enter dungeon. Yes, might as well. I'm just gonna wander around. I'm just gonna be chucking bad voices at you guys today. Practice. Every game I play, I, just in general, is gonna be kind of low-key practice for me and my... That's... Don't start attacking the rock, you... you wingus. Alright. Now, I wonder what the, uh... keyboard and mouse controls are... with this game. I should maybe experiment. And yeah, we might have to put some... Put, 
put some many points in survivability. Just because. Let's see, I guess I could try blocking first. And seeing if that uh that helps. Because yeah, what I try and do is stunlock the enemy before they before they get the chance to attack me. But that might straight up be a bad idea. I wonder if see uh I wonder if a lot of the secrets are just you know, torches and raw raw resources just sitting behind things. We can always just come back. Uh I think. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of feedback on enemy attacks, so I just kind of get hit a lot. I guess, honestly, considering how many healing items they give me, I'm probably supposed to get hit. A lot. Looks like the chest was too heavy for him. Need a silver key. Wait, the chest was too heavy for him, so... He died. I mean, it would it'd make more sense if the chest was, like, in his... Well, like, on him. Like, literally on his chest. That would make plenty of sense. It almost... I mean, it would be horrifying, but yeah, if you just had le legs sticking out from underneath it. Yeah, that seemed about right. Okay, so let's, let's try blocking, then attacking. Whoops, that's not the block button. I forgot the block button. Okay, yeah, it looks like blocking is the way to go. A blow for a blow... ...makes... ...the whole world... ...blow. Um... Nope, that just saves the game. Okay, so don't want to do that. So we gotta find a silver key in here. Unless I'm supposed to, like, attack walls? No, I... Mm. No, we don't wanna exit. We've got one more secret around here that we haven't found. And I feel like I should probably be thorough and find it. I mean, we've got... This is destructible. But no silver key. I didn't, like, miss it at any point, right? Uh... Let me go double check this. Maybe, maybe the one brother has the key. Because, yeah, I'm not seeing it anywhere in here. Ugh. It's gonna make me second-guess myself real hard, but whatever. It's not that big of a deal. Smackings. Onwards. So we found the secrets, but we have not found... What? Enter camp, yes. Okay, there we go. Have you found my brother? Bad news, your brother is dead. Oh no, it's my fault. I should have gone with him. So, what about the son? Oh, this is awful. What am I supposed to do without my brother? And we get no silver key. Okay. I don't know. Confusing. Oh. Yeah, so really the the absolute trick here if you want to if you want to just smash out people uh is just block first. Cuz the enemies like there's no real tell for their attack. They just attack as soon as they're like next to you. Oh. Maybe that's my answer. I got to pay attention for the shuffle radar when that starts going off. I actually really dig this music. Like, it's pretty fun to listen to. Oh. 
I'm just gonna use that, uh, spin attack. I, it'd be nice if I could lower the cooldown on it, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Okay. We get more things. The inventory is getting kind of full too. Maybe it's maybe it's not going to be so bad. I I think I can spend these crystals. Lumberjack. Excuse me, my name is Carl. I am Lumber Carl. Doesn't roll off the tongue nearly as well, but still. Look, it's important to get a man's name right. Even if they give out fake names like Wanderbot or some nonsense like that. You know how it goes. Okay, well we found a, a secret dungeon. Uh, let's not actually. Well, it would be nice to get that secret dungeon. My uh, inventory is getting kind of full. I'm just on a murder spree right now, and I can't I can't stop myself. Okay, uh, let's see. So level up. I'm gonna put one into one into block, and then. Does that have some serious? That's gotta have diminishing returns. So what's this? Protection aura reduces damage by 32%. I'm gonna have to see if I can upgrade it. Yeah, how long does this aura last? Okay, so it lasts... It lasts just shy. Can I can I do anything with this? I can. I can move it around. But I don't necessarily know if that's really that helpful. I hope you didn't care about these trees. I'm using them now. They're mine. They offended me. Hello. Good man. Don't pass by. Give alms to the poor tramp. Hip. I'll give you ten coins. Thank you. Good man. Hip. Here's the story and a reward. Rumor has it that those large central gates there are, f uh, are there for some reason. Hip. They, they were built by the royal magicians many years ago to protect us from something big and terrible. Hip. And you can open them using a magic cube. Hip. A phony tale. And that's it. Okay, so the protection aura lasts pretty much uh, the entire duration of the cooldown. What? No, never. I didn't mean to go in here. Ah, uh, escape! Escape! Fail! Fail! Okay, do the do the trees all respawn? No, it doesn't look like it. Sweet. Only in video games can I truly realize my my anti-environmental. Uh, mentality. Well, I don't necessarily know what that does, but that's okay. All right, nope. Can't get them all. In real life, I'm like, yeah, save the trees, save the animals. Video games, I'm like, burn it all! Conservation! Conservation! Hello, mage. You again? Someone owes me a heart, ahem. Yes, I know. Just give me time to look around. Well, light the torches around at least. It's not safe in the dark. I need something to light them with. Here's a couple of torches. Ahem. He's really insistent on me lighting as many torches as possible. I'm really insistent on deforesting the whole area. And I don't honestly have a good reason why. I'm gonna spend half this episode just smacking down trees and rocks. Because now that I, I've discovered that I can do so, it makes me want to. Right? Sweet! I can even destroy gravestones. Sacrilegious! Well, maybe not religious, but... I, 
I, I mean, does this make me a bad person? Yes. Does it make that much of a difference? No. Back we go. Why is love fire? What? Oh, I see. I heal. It's too dark here. Oh, right. I just have to light the random torches for him. I guess it makes sense. This seems really unsustainable, honestly. Isn't he a wizard? Like, don't you have more magical means of setting fires that don't require, you know, constant feeding? Here's our arsonist back ahead. What can the old miser do for you? Uh, this place is really good. I told you it'd be nice to set up a new home here. Ahem. I'll get you a new home. Stop crumbling. Uh, who can build Who can build an airship for me? There's the carpenter's camp nearby. He's a bit dumb, but he performs work on any complexity. Ahem. Let me show you his camp on the map. What else is there nearby? The blacksmith also lives nearby. Good fellow, but too absent-minded. He's been searching for his hammer for a couple of days. Ahem. Let me mark him on the map. Okay. So, they're marked on the map properly, but we should probably check out some of the dungeons, maybe? Okay, that's storage-ish. We go for the cube. I knew there's a second one. I knew it was hiding. Ah! I was not expecting a skeleton out of that grave, but it don't... Oh. I guess it kind of was. Okay, so you are helpful. Onwards, cube. You will help me in these adventures. Oh. Hope you guys don't mind that sound effect. This is a little bit faster. Bonk! That is... It's a sound effect. And we get goodies. What the? Wow, that is a thick golem. Holy shit! I need to take that a little bit more seriously. Hot diggity dangle. Okay, so the thickness is a danger to me. However, I don't think it'll f oh it will no it doesn't follow me. Okay. So his high thickness is just going to kind of hang out there. Okay. But he won't follow me to the fire, which is perfect because all I have to do is just uh return return to the bonfire constantly heal, and then go back for, uh, for the next round. Oh, boy, he hurts. Look at that. Look at, look at, look at his, his thick, I mean, I get, I'd say feet, or thighs? Th thighs? Feet? I mean, he's got, like, feet, feet thigh business going on here. Like, it's not, there's no leg, it's just, it's just mass. Well, anyway, so I've killed the first golem. I can't get into this thing. We need another cube. So I guess let's just look around. Probably destroy my own grave. I... Was that my grave? Might have been. I don't see anything else on the, the shield radar. But, uh. Hello! Okay, so I gotta level up my... My blocking skill. Like, a lot. Alternatively, I could just level up my damage resistance and just be done with it. I wonder if I could become full-on invincible. 
with the uh, the right point allocation. I just got the achievement Tree Hater. Heck yeah. This game knows my number. Okay. Yeah, we're getting loads of resources, but nothing to really use them on yet. Hopefully, like, the blacksmith or something is kind of handy. Help me! Don't eat me! I don't taste good! Save the prisoner from the goblins. Okay, so I've, I've smackerooed the goblins. Has he been sufficiently rescued? I guess I'll light a torch here just because. Oh, this is probably what I'm supposed to do. Maybe? Oh, I see. Thank you for saving me from sudden death. I would have ended up in soup today if not for you. Anyone would do the same in my place. A modest hero. That's the first time I see this. It's your reward for saving my life. Take care. Hang on. Since you're a hero, Goblin's had one more prisoner. A lady prisoner, actually. Go on. I think it was a princess. Did they eat her? I don't think so. They saved her for their shaman. Where do I find him? Where, do you, where to find the goblin shaman? Ha <laughs> ha! You're not a local, are you? No, I'm just crashing through. Well, let me mark the camp on the map, but I'm warning you. It's very dangerous. No n uh, need to save the princess. I don't know why I give my guy such a thick accent, but that's okay. So I need a gold key for that. I not get up to this? I'm mildly disappointed. Okay, so what else do we have? Uh, one more quest, a couple of doors, some other things. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just gonna finish this map at the very least. It looks like there's a lot of like leeway on where you can go and what you can do. No, I guess I'm just gonna leave that there. I'm not gonna be able to make it through in time. I'll grab this. So what do we got down here? How many torches do I have? I guess we don't... I don't entirely know. Need a silver key. How many silver keys do you need? Damn. Need a silver key to get in that door. Need a silver t key to get into the... Uh, into the into that one treasure chest. Need a silver key to, to do everything. Need a silver key to talk to the wizard. Why? I don't know. He's just picky like that. This tree, you need a silver key to chop it down. That goblin? Oh, you better bet you need a silver key to, to uh, do things to it. Sorry, mildly distracted. Many things to do. Hey man, do you got a moment? Who are you? Undertaker, I'm sending the dead to the underworld. Why are you whispering? Oh, sorry. The dead, they hear us. Yet another cuckoo. You may call me crazy, but believe me, something horrible is about to come. The army of the dead, they've been accumulating their strength every night. And now there's no more daylight. They're even stronger than ever now. I'm d okay. How do we stop them? There's one way. Spit it out. There's an old cemetery down the road and an ancient artifact is stored there. It's what gives the undead their strength. You have to steal it. Big deal. It's important, dude. I do it myself, but the dead can sniff me out a mile away. I'm a grave digger, you know? And also, I don't know how to get there. The only passage is closed by gates. Magicians of the royal court put it put these gates many centuries ago, and as they're keen on different types of puzzles, there must be an opening mechanism somewhere. All right, let's see what we can do. Get the artifact of the dead. Smack me up some trees. Okay, so this gate's down too. 
At some point, we're going to need rocks, and boy, am I going to have rocks for days ready. However, it does look like I'm also semi-stuck. Uh, I'd like to check out those dungeons, but my inventory is mad full. I could store some things away, but I think we want to find the blacksmith first. Probably. Well, either way, let's... Oh, we should probably save. Eh, let's get to a new map, and then I'll save. And it, and then, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to play more of this. It's kind of a neat game. Uh, I like the music. Let's go Carpenter's Camp. Encounter. It won't take me alive. Okay. Right. You know, it had, like, bandit-looking dudes. But, all I see are lizards. Lib lizards. Is that it? Supposedly there's secrets around here. I wonder how much of this is randomly generated. Because if there's a lot of random generation and, just, like, enemy respawns and stuff, I might stop being so thorough. Because there's, there's so much... So many things to be thorough about. Okay, so these are just exits. Let's grab the health flower. It, it, this looks like just a random encounter map, like in any... CRPG I've ever played. This is good EXP. Oh shoot, they found me. Oh, nope, it's dead. Ah, doodle. How much money do I have I accrued? Inventory. 95. Yeah, so giving the money to that one dude isn't so bad. I think we got one more secret lurking around here. Before we totally leave. Pay attention to the shield radar. It will let me know. Can I just wander off? No. Okay, there are invisible walls. Maybe over here? I mean, unless it's like hidden under a rock or something. I can't do anything to that. I can save the torch. Made mushroom? Ah, there we go. Yep, just break every rock. Okay, so exit map. Uh, yes. Okay, there we go. So, back to the carpenter's camp. As was intended. Right, I have to confirm to go into it. Let me see. How big is this camp? I say I'm gonna stop, and then I keep going. I don't know. It's just one of those where it's like, I think I like playing games too much, and my standards are kind of random, so it's just like, eh, this, this looks like a fine game, and then I, then I just keep going. And then I end up playing like every game forever, and my channel becomes ridiculous. Uh, can I rest at this? No. Well. Hey, the lumberjack, have you seen the carpenter around here? I am the carpenter. What do you want? A uh, carpenter with a big axe. This axe was handed from father to son for many generations in our family. However, the, uh, however hard my dad had tried, he didn't manage to make a lumberjack out of me. But I made a good carpenter. What do you want? What happened to the son? I think it was stolen. The king will reward the one who solves this case. Can you build ships? Nope, I only ha build houses. And will you build one for me, won't you? I've heard that you are a skilled craftsman. I am a skilled craftsman. You got the point. I will help you. But there's a problem. A landslide buried my belongings. Help me get to them. No problem. Tell me where to dig. Just go up the path and check it out. Let's see. Do we got anything up here? I feel like, uh, I feel like now that I know that they just, like, put secrets under rocks and stuff, 
I have to be like stupid thorough and I shouldn't be. Cause I'm gonna I'm just gonna take too long. Ah, I should play other th other things though. Let's light this torch before I do more than like two episodes. I, honestly, I should probably just do one. Okay, so oh oh I see. I might actually end up using too many torches, but who knows? Maybe I can convert wood into torches if I keep going. Either way, I guess uh, this game's kind of neat. I mean, combat's a bit basic, and uh, well, the plot seems to be kind of random. Uh, maybe not too random, but just kind of odd. Uh, but I like it all the same. So, I don't know. If you guys like this episode in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. I'm on the wall about playing more just because I got so many other games to play. But, you know, I was kind of neat, neat to check this one out for a little while. So, I guess for now, I'll see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching. How do I leave? How do I leave? That's a... It's a lot of bug report stuff. Anyway. Oh yeah, this game also has multiplayer. I don't think I'm gonna do it, but... Something to keep in mind someday.